Hello babies, hello babies, how are you? My name is Simon Red, and you're watching Simon Red Tarot, and today I'm coming back with another ticket card reading. Today's ticket card reading is going to be, um, what do you need to heal? So, I'm trying a segment, I'm not going to promise y'all that every Sunday I'm going to be able to keep up with the segment, because technically I don't read on Sundays, that's my rest day, but I'm going to try to get some angel messages and stuff like that, because we all know that most people don't watch, um, this You know, most people don't watch the healing ones, they only want to watch the dating ones. So I want to make sure, but I still want to make sure I'm doing them. What? All right, y'all, I'm about to get started. How number one, what do you need to heal? You have... You have blue, braille, creativity, energy, and calmness. So what do you need to heal? I feel like, and a lot of you guys might really beg to differ when I say this, because you might be like, what, girl? Like, that doesn't even make sense. How is that something I need to heal? But <clears throat> what I'm seeing here is like your, your nonchalantness. It's something that you need to heal. I feel like a lot of you guys are really um, nonchalant and really like kind of going through life with that skaters mentality. You know how people always say like skateboarders and like surfers and stuff like they be so chill like hippies. Like it's giving me that. It's giving me hippie. It's giving me hippie skateboard. It's giving me hippie skateboard. Um, Like everything's gonna be okay, dude, like, type of energy, right, and I'm, I'm not, I don't feel like, I don't necessarily feel like that's a bad thing, I don't feel like that's a bad thing at all, matter of fact, matter, matter, matter of fact, I feel like that the issue with that is, it's like, sometimes you don't know when it's time to turn up, like, you don't know when it's time to turn up, you don't know when it's time to speak for yourself, because you're, you're really, like, go, go with the flow, right, 
Um, to give y'all an example, I know I always be telling my, I know I talk about myself, but I talk about myself to help y'all with y'all. So today, um, I had a friend who called me, right? And they was having like, uh, trouble with the police officer. They was at their house and they were just, the police was just doing what they do. They were just doing whatever they wanted. And the person did not know what was going on. While I don't believe in necessarily being combative to policemen, I also know that if you don't ask the right questions, they will coach you. And some of them will coach you into saying anything. It has happened to me directly. That's why I was telling my friend, I was on the phone, like ask them some questions. Like, why are they in your house? First of all, why did you let them in the house? Before they even entered your house, they didn't know why they're in the house, what they're looking for in the house, things like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, what are you, what are you here for? You got what I'm saying? Like, ask more questions. You get what I'm saying? Because it's an oftentimes that police have been guilty of coming to the wrong house. Like, just different things, right? And I'm not saying be, it's a, it's a way to ask. Just ask them, hey, sir, I would like to know what's going on on my property. That's all you gotta, that's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. And the person was so afraid to do that because they're so, I know them, they're so used to going with the flow, they're so used to doing what everyone else wants them to do because they don't want to upset anyone, they don't want to, um, they don't want to upset anyone, they don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to upset, um, they don't want to upset anyone. They don't want to be disliked and stuff like that. So they don't never get the results they want. And they always feel like they're taking, being taken advantage of. And what I'm trying to explain to my friend is, of course, you're being taken advantage of because no one knows that they, they don't know that they're hurting you. They don't know that you want something different. They don't know what you want. So people going to naturally do what benefits them if you're not asking them or telling them what you want. So um, that's, that's basically what I, that's basically what I mean by you got to heal you got to heal that energy. You got to heal that energy of always being go with the flow. Like, if, cause you, like, if, I'm feeling like even if you don't like something, you'll still go with the flow, even though you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You got to heal that. Cause it's more of, I just want to be liked than it is of, oh, I'm just a chill person. No, you just want to be liked. So you're scared to rock the boat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then at the end of the day, you don't get what you want. Next, you have stability, grounding, and supported. So what you need to heal, um, and these, getting these crystals also might help you um, heal everything that I am uh, talking about if you use it correctly. So the next thing you need to heal is um, supportive, grounded, and it's, um, stability, grounding, and support and supported. You need to understand that you're going to have to support yourself. You have no one in this world but yourself. Like, of course you have your parents. Of course you have your significant other. Of course you have people in your life that love you. But at the end of the day, you are going to be by yourself the day you did. You know what I'm saying? The day that is, it's time for you to your last on this earth, you are going to be, it's going to be you. Yeah, you might have family around and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily saying that, but I'm saying you're going to be your first chain of, you're, you're going to be your first chain of command. You're going to be, um, you're going to part, you're going to be the person that you look to, to, uh, save you out of any situation. You know, well, you should be anyway, right? Cause you're still your own person. So I'm saying you have to learn how to support yourself, how to ground yourself, be stable on your own. I feel like a lot of you guys maybe grew up in big families or something like that. And your parents was very supportive and that's great. And that's cool. But what happens when people who don't know, when people who didn't have to grow up fast, they didn't have to support themselves. They don't know how to support themselves. And when they don't know how to support themselves, they start to like lack in life. Cause then they always looking for help. They, they can't really do anything by themselves. And eventually people get, some people get tired of helping you all the time. You get or they don't have the needs are they going through their own shit and they can't help you so then you just don't get stuff done because you always need help so you need to focus on being stable on your own okay your last card out is anti gornet flow intuition and and um boom so what do you need to uh work on you need to trust your intuition more you need to go you need to trust your intuition more. Because I said going with the flow here, but I keep hearing go, go with the flow, but with your intuition. So, okay. So what I'm saying is you don't need to go with the flow going back because I don't want to confuse you, right? I don't even know why spirit making me do that. Because maybe, I don't know. Spirit is really, you know, making make me, making me deliver. So it, I was a, <laughs> all right. Y'all, because y'all, y'all making me, all right, I said, just say it. But so this, so with this, I'm saying you don't need to go with the flow, meaning stop 
just doing anything anyone tells you because they told you to do it. But here I'm saying it's okay to go with the flow when it comes to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you something and you're like, um, and you're, and you're like, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on or whatever, but your intuition is telling you something. Um, hold on. Yeah, so even though I'm saying like go with the flow, when it comes to your intuition, not when it comes to people telling you what they would like you to do or what they think you should do, okay? But yeah, so that is what I have. So basically, I feel like I feel like in a nutshell, basically, pile number one is just you have to just lean on yourself more. I feel like you've been, I feel like you've been, you probably lived a very good life and been taken care of and stuff like that for a while now so for you it's like why would I do anything else you get what I'm saying why would I do why why would I um why would I do any of this like trying to support myself trying to learn myself like you know what I'm saying like why would I do any of that but spirit is telling you you sure okay how okay you sure but um, for you guys who are um, new, I do talk to my adults. So, how do you heal this? I tried to learn from my connection, but my soul craves you. You got to do the soul work. You got to do the healing work. So, for you, I feel like... Every Everyone know what it looks like. To me, it was spiritual bath, prayers, things like that. For you, it might just be, you know, uh, more self-care, more saying no, things like that. Like, you have to literally heal. You have to literally heal these things and actively try to heal it. So, that means when when something, when somebody's telling you to do something that you don't agree with and you don't want to go with the flow, let them know, hey, I don't really, really want to do that. I'm not jacking that. You get what I'm saying? When, um, when, you, when something happens, you get a flat tire, instead of, like, trying to see, like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Like, why don't you call, instead of calling your parents, why don't you call the tow truck or call the repairman yourself and then pay for it? You know, so, like, I know those are, aren't things that you don't want to do but your parents are not going to be here forever your boyfriend is not going to be here forever you know what i'm saying like so one day or they might be doing something where they can't help you at the moment so you gotta so start practicing this supporting yourself now with small things even if you don't have to so that way when you if you ever have to it's not like a foreign um concept then you have intuition when your intuition tells you to do something do it you get what i'm saying do it Uh, intuition is not the same as the little voices in your head. <laughs> Somebody said you really want to listen to the little voices in your head. I feel like if you got a question like that, we're not talking to you. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, that is your reading. Pile number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you are interested in a personal reading, in place description box below. If you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm gonna move on to my next pile. What does pile number two need to heal? So... Let me turn this over so you don't look at that because you got to pay attention. So your first card out is calming, soothing, and healing. So what do you need to heal? I feel like, because this pile gives me, like, I feel like pile number one was like some, like, really heavy energy. Like, it was really heavy. It was very, um... It was very, it was very, um, it was very heavy. It was just very, like, kind of icky, like, kind of like, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of, it, it, it gave big transformation energy. And I know, like, you might be like, why is that, uh, like, uh, big transformation energy is a good thing. Transformation energy is a good thing. It's a very good thing. But transformation energy, for me, for me, transformation energy
for me, transformation energy is just like it's not it's not that it it's not that it's it's gross, it's not that it's 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 bad per se. I just feel like when it comes to transformation energy How can I explain? When it comes to transformation energy, it's very much like gross because it's like it's like coming out of it's like it's like you coming out your shell, right? And you like shedding all that nasty, like all that nasty, like t- like. Cause what I'm seeing is like a like a like a butterfly just sh- coming out of a. I know they don't come out of eggs, but this is the visual I'm getting, like busting out of like something, like some type of cocoon type of thing. Oh, well, I guess that is kind of like, but it's like, but it's like white. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And it's like tar, but it's like tar, and it's like butterflies trying to like just wipe all this tar off so they can fly away and just be their very best butterfly life. And that's how I feel. It's like. That is how that energy felt. This feels like pile number two feels like like you flying away. Does that make sense? So it, it's like you already passed the point of like accepting that it's time to transform, transform, accepting that it's trying to be something different. So you already passed that point. But the issue is like learning techniques that keep you there. I feel like you guys probably um relapse a lot so you probably relapse go sleep with an ex blow your temper not um i hope this mic is on i don't even know how this video gonna sound but i hope this mic is on but yeah um yeah like think different things like that it's like you it's like you transform but you still got some work to do so what spirit is telling you what you got to heal is like maybe the technically techniques you're using like because maybe you don't believe in meditation but maybe you need to do more meditation maybe you need to do more stillness like okay so now you got the not people pleasing down now you have the boundary setting and stuff like that but also like what do you do for yourself like i get that you're not um letting people like just do whatever no more but like what are you doing for yourself like are you um pouring into your mind are you pouring into your body are you are you doing things that make you laugh are you doing things that make you love or think you know what I'm saying like spirit is saying like really not only heal things that's going to make people treat you better around have better experiences with people like really try to understand really try to understand what and who you are that's what i say about that next you have wealth wisdom and uh success and love so what do you need to heal okay so this is the thing this is the thing this is the thing this is the thing because like i was saying before i feel like you learn to set boundaries with people around you you learn to ask for things that you need um talk about things that you don't need like without shame like you've been good at how you interact with people but i feel like you haven't interacted with yourself so you still feel like your your finances your mindset like a lot of stuff is like lacking you know what i'm saying and you're trying to figure out like why why is everything like lacking lacking um why is everything lacking why do i feel like i'm not enough why am i so angry why am i so this why am i so that why am i this why am i that why am i this why am i that why am i this why am i that right i get that i really do like i love that for you but at the same time at the same time is giving like You don't, you're like, you talk to yourself grimy, like, you're like, oh, you broke girl, or you broke guy, or you try, like, you know, you talk to yourself very poorly, you talk to yourself very poorly, and because you talk to yourself very poorly, even though you don't allow people to treat you poorly, it's like, it's, that's why your manifestations is not coming through, so stop talking about yourself like financially, mentally, emotionally, success, like stop putting yourself down for making mistakes. And once you start to learn to accept yourself and accept the mistakes and stuff like that, like it's going to um start to your manifestations are going to show up. So I guess that's what they're trying to tell you is like you only you you halfway got to where you need to be, but now you gotta heal within yourself, if that makes sense. 
Then you have peace, tr um, peace, tranquility, tranquility, and restful sleep. So what I'm seeing with this pile number two, I feel as though you're the type of person who puts a lot into others, puts a lot into things that you do, but you again do not put into yourself. Your problem is that you're not putting into yourself. Like how many times do I have to say it? You're just not putting into yourself, baby. And because you're not putting into yourself, it's like it's you're not seeing a result still because I feel like you've been confused lately because you're like, I put in the work. I'm a great person. I've done the healing work. But the things that I want are just not showing up like life is not showing up for me, even though I'm doing the work. You are doing the work on the outside, but you're not doing the work on the inside. And that is the problem. So, yes, peace, tranquility and restful sleep. Take your ass to be at a decent time. Don't overwork yourself again. You deserve peace. So if you deserve peace. So not only from people, but from yourself, you deserve to tell yourself, self, we're not working today. So Self, I don't want to be upset today. Self, we're going to take ourselves out. So you deserve that. So again, give yourself that peace. You get what I'm saying? I think that when, once you become still into yourself, um, all your manifestations are going to just start popping up out of nowhere. So let's get to some advice before I close this reading. I feel I feel cold, detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. Right. Because right now you're running your life like the CEO. Like you're making executive decisions. Like this person's cut from my life. This is cut from my life. I'm not doing this no more. This is not acceptable, which is great because that's progress. But you're not making an emotional connection with yourself. You're not making a spiritual connection to yourself. So you're only doing half the work. Probably because pro you probably mean as hell. I'm, I'm getting Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, and Sagittarius. You guys are it's very easy to be me heavy on a virgo it's very easy to be me, to be me so you making these executive situation uh decisions about who could be in life and who can't be in life is easy but what's not easy is actually facing your own traumas and talking and learning how to talk to yourself better even though you're not where you need to be or you make mistakes that is the hard part now is the part that you need to focus on okay but with that being said that is your reading power number two thank you again for um just make sure you guys subscribe to my channel um Share this video with anyone that might help. And now, guys, I will see you next Sunday. I appreciate you. Oh, if you're interested in a personal reading, that information description box below. Bye.